Police forces are at odds over Project Brazen 2. And more unpaid interns have been shown the door. Humber News starts now. Hello, it's April 3rd. Welcome to Humber News. Coming to you from the Broadcast Center here at the North Campus. I'm Lily Tran. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Sean Mohammed. Ahead on our show, we have all your news, sports, and entertainment highlights, as well as your five-day weather forecast. But first, Lily has, a, has our top story. Ontario Provincial Police will be taking a step back in the Project Brazen 2 probe. Only a month after accepting the case from Toronto Police, the OPP are handing it back. The OPP say this is because the two forces can't reach a conclusion as to who was the victim of extortion in the controversial crack cocaine video featuring Mayor Rob Ford. An OPP detective says he believes the alleged drug dealer who filmed the video wanted to extort money from Ford. But local police say it's Ford and his friend Sandra Lisi who were the extorters. After being withheld from the public, the criminal files of the Brampton Courthouse shooter are now released. The Ministry of the Attorney General had been keeping the file secret. Through a span of 15 years, Charnjeet Bossi had a run-in with police at least five times. Bossi had a series of theft, fraud and assault charges, but was never convicted. Courthouse staff say Bossi had no up upcoming court dates and it's uncertain what his motives were. Police are looking for at least one suspect wanted in connection with an overnight shooting in Vaughan. A 38-year-old man was shot in the head earlier this morning on Jane Street near Major Mackenzie Drive. The victim was shot while sitting in his car. After he was attacked, he drove to a nearby grocery store where he waited for emergency personnel. Police say the victim's injuries are serious but not life-threatening. The internship programs at Flair and Chatelaine magazines have been dropped. All interns at the Rogers' own companies not receiving course credit for their work have been let go. A Rogers spokesman says the company wants all internships to be associated, associated with an educational institution or paid. The move comes in the wake of a crackdown on unpaid internships by the Ministry of Labour. The ministry says it was not acting on any complaints against the magazines. Exams are fast approaching and you can feel the stress in the halls. Today was spa day at Guelph Humber. Reporter Mark McKelvey ha was there for some R&R. &R. April is here and with that comes the added stress of exam time for students. But today at Guelph Humber, there wasn't just class going on, it was spa day. An opportunity for students to relax and let all their worries go away, at least for a little bit. The event organized by HSF offered free massages and free nail service. Many of the students enjoying the treatment didn't know about the event until they passed by. I had a class and uh, I just saw the canopy, so I just came in just to see what's going on. When you found us free massages, you're definitely uh, looking forward to Oh yeah, to I mean, who wouldn't want a free massage? No, it was a surprise. Yeah, a nice surprise. A good surprise, yeah. A study released in June 2013 by the Canadian Association of College and University Student Services says 89% of students are overwhelmed by what they have to do. The spa day is intended to relax students. Yeah, it's good. And it's good that you don't have to like plan it and book in advance and stuff. They come to you. I mean, it does definitely help because um, yeah, exams is right around the corner. Like everybody's kind of busy. The company Massage on Wheels provided the massages, and masseuse Jackie Dioki says everyone should take time out for a massage. It's a great way to uh, release toxins in the body, release tension, obviously, uh, just like exercising. It should be done regularly. It's part of taking care of yourself and your, your mind as well. Not everybody can be stressed all the time, including students and including a busy reporter like myself. Mark McKelvey, Humber News. Thanks, Mark. The Ontario NDP wants liquor stores to suspend sales of Russian standard vodka due to the international crisis in Ukraine. Sherry DeNovo has tabled a motion today in response to Russia's seizure of Crimea. Saskatchewan has also considered the ban, but ditched the idea after Premier Br Brad Wall said stores also carry a brand of Ukrainian vodka and customers can make their own choice on what they want to buy. When we come back, we'll have more news from across the country and around the world. Hugh Smith will have the sports news and we'll have your weather forecast with Alyssa Capistrano. We've got a beautiful day ahead of us. I've got your five-day weather forecast after the break. <laughs> 